thought I'd pop in here at the beginning of the video. If the quality is really bad, I'm filming on my phone. But this video kind of started really abruptly, so I thought I would just do a little intro. I talk about this later, but I had a week of placement and this was the Sunday before it started. This was originally going to be a different video idea, that's why I kind of don't introduce it properly. But yes, so this is Sunday. Enjoy! So my Sundays are actually quite chill, I don't really do too much. Um, here I was just calling up to catch up with my parents and my brother. So I did that for a couple hours and then... This video was intended to be a Sunday reset routine, all the stuff that I do. So if you see me doing all my laundry and cleaning up and stuff, that's kind of the idea what I do on Sundays to prepare for the week. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. All of the laundry things were full, so now I'm gonna have to wait for the next one, but I have like, so I'm like calling you to do. That was one load I just took downstairs. I'm like out of breath and I just walked up three flights of stairs. Not even that much, but. <laughs> and then I have my whites, which I'm gonna do with my sheets and my towel, but I'm gonna have to do it later today because everyone else had the same idea to do laundry on Sunday. <laughs> so I'm probably just now gonna clean all of my containers and stuff for the week. I don't know about you, but I kind of feel like Sunday is just like cleaning day. This thing's like one of the best inventions. It's got like the soap inside it. And you just kind of like press it in. Checking out on the portal, I think you can see when the laundry is available, like which ones, to save me from walking up and down the stairs. It's been about 20 minutes since I last went, so I reckon a bunch of them should be open, hopefully. It's three washes available. Okay, I'm gonna bring all my sheets down as well then. Let's go. Those are my two. So I'm just gonna set a timer now. It said 36 minutes on the machine, but then I look on the tracker and it says 57. So I'm kind of like, I don't know which one that is. So I'm just gonna put 36 for now and we will go pick up our laundry when it's done. <laughs> Cheers. So then I just ended up doing all your random errands that you do on a Sunday. Um, so I cleaned up and then I did my ironing for all my work clothes that I was using for placement because it's very creasy material. And then me and a couple of friends ended up going down to the local grocer and went for a walk too. Don't really know what we were doing. Hi! What are you filming? Filming how to do your laundry. <laughs> <laughs> go loud, go um, mad. Teaching your life skills. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, life skills with Dab. Now, the proper way to handshake. Shake. There's two types. I'm gonna put this all in. So, it's such a no, no, no. This is, is really is really important. But if you wanna opt for the social setting, we go for the three pumps. One, two, three. <laughs> now, Wait, also. Who's on you? <laughs> etiquette. I paid for those of my anatomy class, so I do some Just one. <laughs> two pumps means we are in a business setting. Here we go. What? So now she's. <laughs> what we don't want. We've decided to bend <laughs> the arm and do it. Someone the didn't go to etiquette school. That's what you did! <laughs> Wait, you got a real bag the clue. <laughs> she did this! <laughs> you you got got Thank you for joining me in Etiquette 101. This was Big D and Little G. We will be back <laughs> to you shortly. <laughs> Later that night, I ended up just doing some 
admin work for a society that I'm a part of and then I was writing some notes for one of my physiology lectures ignore the big fat glove on my hand <laughs> my fingers were just getting really irritated but these are the lecture notes that I write on my iPad I'll leave a link on the information button now so you can see how exactly I go about lecture note taking but yes I use the iPad Pro and the app I'm using is GoodNotes and then on my iPad I have the paper-like screen protector it helps so much to write quickly and effectively because it feels exactly like a notebook so if you want to have a look at any of that all of the information will be in the description and yeah that accurately represents my entire day <laughs> So this week is kind of a busy week. I'm actually doing a full week of placement. So for those of you who don't know, I'm studying a double degree. It's a combined medicine degree. It means you do an undergrad in whatever you want. So I'm doing mine in science and I'm majoring in anatomy and histology and minoring in physiology. I basically get entry into the postgrad degree at my uni. Or medicine so the doctor of medicine so that I start next year once I finish my bachelor's and as part of that I actually have to do a week observational elective placement which means you can do research you can do volunteering or you can shadow in like a clinical setting so that's what I'm doing this week I am shadowing a medical oncologist this specific hospital specializes in cancer treatment the doctor that I was shadowing today she specifically specializes in colorectal cancer today was my first day there I sat in the clinics watched the interactions and I like followed her around the wards for the entire day and it was like super super interesting it was like my first time going in that sort of setting in the hospital and shadowing a clinician and I'm going back there every single day this week. Today I was there till three o'clock so I did from nine till three. I basically missed all of my lectures but I did go to my lab today after I shadowed. It's my friend Jenny's birthday tomorrow. She's turning 20. Hi. Hello. Is it on? Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday! legend she is made a massive cake so we all had that in my room and we kind of just chilled for like a couple hours and chatted and like celebrated Jenny's pre little birthday thing so that was really cute. Sorry I'm losing my voice. <laughs> That's fine. That's Camden. <laughs> Sup? Hey. You hey guys. You want to post it? We like blew up balloons and had them all in my room and then we chucked them all in Jenny's room but there's one stray here. But now it's 11 and I was just doing some uni work, doing the tutorial notes for one of my subjects. It's like pre-work and I did a bunch of reflections and now I think I might go to sleep because I'm clearly tired. Because tomorrow, really exciting actually, at 9 o'clock they're having like a board meeting. Um, so like all the surgeons, medical oncologists and all the radiation oncologists they come and have meetings and like discuss the patients so I'm super excited about that that'll be super interesting because they it's like all the special cases they discuss together like what the best course of treatment would be for the patient what they think like might have happened and like where to go ne to next tomorrow on Tuesdays I'll just check my timetable so I usually have two lectures those two lectures are both for elective subjects I'm taking this year one's about the introduction to health and healthcare, and then the other one is a economic subject. You want to see my production possibility front? What are they called? Production what possibility frontier. Front <laughs> Studying <laughs> and socialising. <laughs> oh they're just lectures, so I'm pretty sure they're recorded, which I will have to catch up on. But yeah, that's pretty much what the plan is. I like went in and got like a full 
ID tag with my name on it and stuff. It's like super profesh and I love it. I like went and like tapped the door to make sure it worked and it was like the authorized access only door and I was like tap 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 in. Very cool and very exciting stuff. I have like my fancy work clothes, worky clothes. So I'm just gonna lay out what I'm gonna wear tomorrow so I don't have to think about it. And because I have to get up early, better to have it ready. Am I right? My room gets so messy so quickly. There's like random socks on the floor. Worky clothes. Wait, this is literally the opposite of what I was wearing today. White shirt and beige pants, or should I do a be black pants, white shirt? Okay, good night. <laughs> day two of placement. It's like the first time I've spoken this morning so my voice is a bit croaky, mind that. This is my work outfit. I have to be there at nine o'clock and it only takes like five minutes to get there so I am going to eat some breakfast and then maybe hop on to the first hour of this lecture that I'm going to miss so it'll save me time later. I don't have to watch the entire thing. But yeah, basically because I only have lectures for uni today, I'm supposed to have two two-hour lectures but because they're recorded i'm just gonna be at the hospital all day i'm excited got my little id so oh. look what i've done oh dear of course i would do this now i'm gonna have to eat and run I just like ran back to my room. I'm currently on my lunch break. I have until 1.30, it's like one o'clock now. My room is like super close to where I'm doing placement. So I came back, uh, I don't know why I came back, but <laughs> I had nothing else to do. I went to the post office to open an account to like ship parcels to. And then now my friends have just said that they're gonna go to Mapo, which is like the best place. They have the best ice cream. Um, they're gonna go cause it's Jenny's birthday. and. We love Mapo. I'm gonna do that and hopefully I'll be back. That shouldn't take too long. It's just down the street, like 15 minute walk. No, 10 minutes. So we're gonna go there, get ice cream, and then I'll head back to the hospital for round two of clinics. Mapo! Mapo! I'm gonna get the aesthetic shot. Jenny, happy birthday. I'm back, finished at around 4.30. It's nearly 6 o'clock, but I, oh, sorry, it's 5.30. I'm getting ahead of myself. I just went to pick up some things because I needed to get some cream from Chemist Warehouse. And then I got some but yeah basically dinner is at six o'clock so got some time i'm just gonna sort out what the plan is for tonight like what i'm gonna get done because i have a lot of uni to catch up on so i'm probably just gonna be doing that i don't have anything on it's thursday friday night i have things planned so i won't be able to get much done on those evenings when i come back from placement but yeah basically today on placement it was like such a good day i learned so much i was shadowing one of the registrars on the gynecology section department, I don't know what you call it. It was like so informative, like he went through everything, like explained what he was doing, why he was doing it, and then he was talking a lot about like 
different clinical trials. I met some of the patients who were subjects in the clinical trials and it was like so interesting. There was like all this stuff to do with genetics and like breast cancer and like how people, are, some people are more predisposed. And because I was following the medical oncology team, it was a lot to do with like all these drugs that they're using and different patients have for like pain relief but also like stopping the cancer um so all of that was so fascinating there were all these like really technical names but i definitely learned so much and like as the day went on we were like seeing all these different types of patients each of them had like their own story and they were kind of sharing like what their lives are like some of them were still going through the cancer treatment and some of them had actually been a few years after so like survived and that was really nice to be able to sit into those appointments but oh it was so good I definitely am so excited to start this medical journey next year I think this kind of just like got me so excited to start and that was only day two so I still have three more days there for the rest of the week tomorrow I think I'm gonna shadow the lung and head and neck consultant and his registrar but I really like the fact that it's all under medical oncology but I get to see like the different parts of that team. Today was I finished longer than yesterday because I had a lab yesterday I had to go to Swat to finish at 3 um, but this clinic was also a bit more busier than the one I went to yesterday so it was like kind of like patients coming in non-stop. So I just came back from dinner, pretty average dinner. We had fish Oh my god, my- sorry, this is so- I get sidetracked really easily. My hands have been like crackling so much, like they're really dry, just on this like specific finger. I want to this hand cream, because all the CeraVe products have worked well on my skin so far. So I'm going to make my overnight oats for tomorrow. I'll put the recipe for my overnight oats on the screen, and you guys can- give it a try because I absolutely rate it. I love it. I filled this up with hot water and I'm going to have my strong lots of tea. So you can see I was a very, very small part of this huge pot and certainly didn't want to have a problem. That lecture was really long. I, I'm starting to get really tired, so I'm probably just going to do one more. <sighs> like 8.30 and I'm already like ready to hit the hay which is very unusual for me but I'm gonna do this physiology lecture from Monday actually um, just because I usually have three of these lectures a week and I feel like if I leave it I'll fall behind so I'm gonna do oh my god <laughs> oh, this recording she like already went over time it's an hour and 20 minutes long went to only be 55 minutes oh, 23 slides this lecture is about gonadal development what I want you to remember is that this is a physiology course and not an anatomy course. But we must have time. We must have time. These are a family of proteins that are very important, and it's this PRDM14 protein that is being inhibited. left of this lecture but I'm going to sleep because I'm tired. <laughs> I almost got to the end. I have eight more slides left 
but like this kind of looks complicated so I want to like do it tomorrow when I have more concentration than me <laughs> so I'm going to sleep good night see you tomorrow good morning everyone it is Wednesday this is today's work outfit currently quarter past eight to go to my shoot which normally starts at nine but I'm uh, ten but I'm gonna go to the 9 a.m. one right before it because I think it's the same shooter um, that way I can get to placement earlier so I'm gonna quickly eat my breakfast I've actually got my overnight oats this is why I love overnight oats because it makes it so easy the next morning. But I've chopped all my fruit up. Mm. And then I should leave at 8.40. It takes a while to walk to that class. It's on the other side of campus. So I'm gonna... Writing's not that easy. It is grammatically correct, but it's wordy. Oh. In my world don't worry, darling. I just smile because you're by my side. Now your eyes open up every morning to the love that shines in mine. And I see it in yours too. So now I sing to you. And when you go, each party has 10 hours in which they can work, draw a PPF for each party, um, and what was the slope of each PPF. After all this time, you'll read between these lines, feeling fine, because you said... So I just finished my shoot, grabbed my coffee, and now I'm off to play. All this waiting, 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 I call you mine, I know you feel the... AI shadow the registrar and consultant on the lung and head and neck clinic there were some really interesting and like long cases so they specialize in like diagnosing whether they need chemotherapy or not i also went down to the, the day therapy area where they do the chemo and also spoke to some of the nurses there Reminiscing on the time when we first met, I was tongue tied, stupefied. What was it that I said? Finished uni, finished placement, went to my health tutorial, and now I'm walking back. I'm back in my room, and it's currently quarter past five. I feel like I, the day is just like gone past really quickly. I thought I wasn't gonna make my shoot, so I like emailed in, but then I finished at 3 30, so I walked over and I had a shoot for this elective that I'm doing. It's called Introduction to Health and Healthcare. It's all discussions about health and health policies. Yeah, so I'm so excited for that unit. And it was also in the new health building, which is really nice. It's like fresh and like renovated. Not renovated because it didn't exist before, but it's like super modern compared to some of the other buildings that I'm in. I received a message on TikTok. Um, so I'm probably going to finish off that lecture that I did. Didn't finish last night. I had like the longest sleep last night. I went to bed at like 10 and woke up. Okay, this is like not the longest, like longest this week. I went to sleep at 10 and then woke up at 7. I thought I was going to wake up earlier than that because I was like, sure, if I go to bed earlier, my body would just wake me up. But no, I had a full nine hours of sleep and still like woke up to my alarm like and I was like no I don't want to wake up tomorrow night I have this event for the science society it's like a pub crawl and then also the college has like one of our an annual general meetings so that'll go till pretty late and then on Friday I've got other two events in the afternoon so I won't really have much time the rest of this week to sort of get um, caught up with all the uni work that I've missed from placement so I'm probably gonna get grinding cracking with that yeah, basically just a lot of lectures. I think each week I have like nine lectures altogether, which isn't as bad as what I've had before, but I just want to make sure I complete all my lectures for this week so I don't fall behind next week. When I finish talking, I go. 
kind of sad that it's ending soon. It's only for a week, so I've got two more days left. Tomorrow I might go to the sarcoma one actually, which is apparently soft tissue. But it's cool that I got to see a bit of everything and also see how different doctors sort of approach their different methods, like their different styles, I guess. Gives you a lot to sort of think about and like learn from, which I really like. Happy Friday! Hold up, hold up. Tell me what the hold up is. It's the end of the week. This week has been a very long and busy week. It's also my last day of placement, which is really sad. I've had such a good time and literally learnt so much from just like sort of been thrown into the clinics and just like shadowing. It's, I feel like it's one of the best ways to learn about what it truly is like because it's kind of like their day-to-day -day sort of things. It's currently eight o'clock. I just was at the gym and going to have a shower, have breakfast and get ready. I thought it'd be nice to whip out the blender and make a smoothie. This thing's too loud, but then like there's a lawnmower outside, so I'm like, surely it's okay. So I spent the morning in the colon clinic. This is the same one I was in on the first day. At around lunchtime when I had my lunch break, I just went downstairs to the cafeteria and I actually had a physiology lecture scheduled in the time I had my lunch break. So I just hopped onto that Zoom and listened in. That colon clinic was only in the morning, so after lunch I was shadowing the gynecology registrar and that was pretty much it for placement. The clinic ended up wrapping things up at around 3.30, so I had time. I went down to the shop to pick up Jenny's birthday present and then this was one of the welcome drinks events we had for one of my societies. Everyone, go subscribe right now. Her vlogs are amazing, her personality, beautiful. What can I say? Oh my god, it's like soaking. We got caught in the rain. And I just had to run and shut my windows. My dune is all wet now. I'm so out of breath. Look, I'm soaking wet. My room is a trash can. So I'm going to clean it. Oh my god, it's actually so messy. Okay, I'll clean it and I'll be back. Hello. Look what dab you got! I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> I don't believe her. You watch me finish it. I'm done. I'm done, Jake. And that is the end of my weekly vlog. I know this was a super long one and kind of a different style of video. I haven't really done long vlogs like this. If you enjoyed it and managed to stick all the way to the end, then thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos and channel. I'm sorry this took so long to get up to edit and upload. I'm trying to like keep up to date with all the uni work and things have just been so busy. So I'm like really sorry I haven't been uploading. But if you have any video suggestions, things you want me to film, or if you want to see more vlogs like this, then let me know in the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe to my channel down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.